Yeah. All right, uh, Debbie, I'll also have you read you for, for key. Okay, so whenever you're ready. You wake up in the morning, you get ready for school, on your way out, you decide, you want to stop for a drink. You get there, your wallet's empty, wants are coming out. So you decide you're still going to head to class either way because, well, that's where you belong. And unfortunately, because of the fact that your wallet was empty and you couldn't get a drink, you find yourself getting caught like this, snoring, sleeping, maybe even drooling in class. Now, that's not to say that this is going to happen to all of us. According to Kevin McKeever, August 12, 2009, ABC News, roughly 12% of all college students will fall asleep at least three times a month in class. So, please know tomorrow I will have my eye on all of you, because <laughs> none of us have been caught yet, and we're already three weeks into the semester. <laughs> Now, aside from the college tuition that we all have to pay, we have other stressors and other time constraints that are causing us problems with being able to get our drinks. Obviously, some of us have jobs, but with the tuition, fees, rent, bills, we can't afford to be able to pay for these drinks. So I say, colleges should give us free coffee. <laughs> so today I'm going to tell you all why it is that we need coffee in our lives, what are the reasons why we aren't getting free coffee, and what is the problem with not getting that free coffee? And then on top of that, I'm going to tell you how it is that we can try and promote the idea of getting free coffee for all college students. So, aside from Shannon, all of us are college students in here. We all understand what it's like. We want to be able to stay in late if we can, stay in bed all, bed all morning. But unfortunately, we also know that staying up late comes par for the course. Well, according to Shelley Hirschner and Ronald Sherbon of Nature and Sleep on June 23, 2014, roughly 50% of all college students will experience daytime sleepiness. For those of you who don't really understand what that means, it doesn't mean you're going to fall asleep in class. It means you're going to feel really tired throughout the day, maybe even when you get home from being in school all day. About 70% of us, go figure on this one, don't get enough sleep. Who knew? I mean, really, college not allowing us to sleep enough? And 60% of us actually drag ourselves to class, just like this young man right here on the grass is doing. And, well, I know. I've been in that position before, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say, yes, I picked myself up by the shirt like that. <laughs> now, I know what some of you are thinking. Why coffee, Keith? It takes time to brew the coffee. And you know what? I can just grab a nice Red Bull or another energy drink right out of my refrigerator. It's nice and cold, and a lot of stores have it. But here's what a lot of you don't know about those energy drinks. Those companies, they target you as college students for a couple reasons. Number one, they know that a lot of college students between the ages of 18 and 34 can't differentiate between what's an energy drink and what's a sports drink. Secondly, they know that you guys need the extra caffeine. But how many of you know what else is inside of this energy drink besides the caffeine? There is a lot of sugar in it. In fact, to tell you guys how much sugar is in there, according to Alexandra Sefferlin, Time Magazine, February 6, 2013, she says that this one drink right here has roughly between 120 to 180 milligrams of sugar. To give you guys an idea of how much sugar that really is, imagine if I gave you 14 and a half tablespoons of sugar and told you to eat that right now. That's how much sugar you just got out of that one drink. So now you're probably thinking, you know what, Keith? The problem isn't that I need energy drinks or that I need coffee. I'm just too busy with school, and that's why I don't really sleep that much. Well, according to one college student who goes by the anonymous name of Slammin, on his college blog posted July 7, 2009, he says, you know what? That's not true about any of you. Now, a lot of you, I know we can point out that this is a problem. I won't point out any names. <laughs> <laughs> But we very well know that some of you drink more than others. And anybody who's ever been in college, including Shannon, can probably tell you, even if you're underage and you're in college, let's face it, you drink. It's what we do. But we have other things that also cause us not to sleep that much. We have Facebook or Snapchat for you youngsters now, or Twitter, whatever you young kids are using these days. We have the idea of smoking, and I'm not even going to get into what you guys are smoking these days, <laughs> working out, and video games. But when a bunch of college students were interviewed, according to Jackie Anyangwu on March 15, 2016 for the Huffington Post, the number one excuse that college students gave 
I'm busy. Really, let me ask you all, what in the hell are you all so busy doing that you can't sleep? And don't tell me you're not drinking, because you probably are. <laughs> and for those of you who say I'm studying, I'm sorry, but that picture on the bottom left is nothing more than what we see in movies all the time. I highly doubt most of you are out there studying like that. So, now that we've spoken a little bit about this, let's think about some of the benefits of having coffee in our lives. According to Dr. Donald Hen Hensred, the Mayo Clinic, March 13th, 2014, he tells us that coffee actually does have health benefits that they wouldn't have told us back when they first started talking about whether or not coffee was good for us because in the earlier days, coffee went with smoking, which today is not a very common thing anymore. What we have found is that coffee actually helps prevent type 2 diabetes, which is a horrible dilemma that is hitting America right now, especially in our younger folks. It's becoming more and more common for people to have it by the time that they're only 30 years old. Coffee can also help prevent stroke, can help prevent heart disease, and for those of you that like putting cream, milk, or sugar in your coffee, guess what? You're actually taking a low calorie count, which is good for you. Because putting those calories into your body acts as a stimulant, gets your metabolism going. And so if you don't have something to eat, that's one of the reasons why your body is able to function so well in the morning. Just because you've decided to have some of that, as Shannon likes to call it, candy coffee shit <laughs> that some of you will have in the morning. But let's talk about some of the other benefits of coffee. One of the other benefits of it is also the fact that it's great for socializing. You ever got into a coffee shop and found that there are people talking? I know, it's kind of weird because we all have our cell phones and tablets and computers. We don't want to talk to each other anymore. But over a cup of coffee, people like doing that. And the best thing about it, you're not going to get smacked in the face or hit over the head with a bottle because you were having alcohol. <laughs> that happens way too often at the bars these days. So when did coffee actually become the drink of choice? Well. According to Tori Avey at PBS on April 8, 2013, coffee was first introduced to America in the 18th century. Now, go figure, it wasn't until after the Boston Tea Party that coffee really became popular. So we get rid of tea and let's all have coffee instead. <laughs> Great job, you guys. So now we say, well, really, how can we actually have the idea of coffee being given free for us? Well, we've discussed why it is that we need coffee in our lives. Who it is that's stopping us from having coffee, and what it is that is a reason for us to have some of the coffee. So now I'm going to tell you how it is that we get that free coffee. First, we can start by looking up other colleges that offer free co coffee. <coughs> According to the South Texas College website, on December 1st, 2016, they were offering free coffee during finals week for every student at almost every building that they had. All but two out of seven buildings had free coffee. The two that didn't, free popcorn. So for those of you who like popcorn with your coffee, South Texas College is a great place to go. <laughs> but the second thing that I want you all to do is, believe it or not, this is a real petition now. It was just started last night. <laughs> so for those of you that have your cell phones, you have your tablets, you have your laptops right now, get online, go to this website, sign a petition, and demand that Butte College, if nothing else, gives us free coffee at least during finals week. It's something we need. It's something we crave. And for those of you who really want to see what happens after you go on this website, I even started a Facebook page, Free Coffee for College Students. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah. Please put back up your position. Yeah. We need to write this down. Yes. <laughs> this is a real thing. I've been over